So this is my craft room. We will be cleaning this room up and then I'll take you on a little tour of it. This is a series on my YouTube channel. I have a playlist set up for it. I will have that playlist linked down below in the description box. But in this series, the intention was to make over my craft room. Um, since going down this, this path of I, I want to re redo this room, I want to um, reorganize it. I was going to do custom cabinetry in here and shelving and organization stuff. But since then, my plans have changed. And I'm actually going to be moving out of this room, which sounds crazy. I'm not going to give you um, a whole lot of details just yet, but it's coming hopefully very soon. Um, and hopefully that entire project will be completed within the next couple of months. So um, I'll keep you guys posted. This series will continue to go until that exciting project is complete. But for now, I actually had to redo this space. So um, the way that it was set up before it worked. It was okay. Um, I was running out of storage and organization. I've actually run out of space in this room. I've outgrown it, um, which is every craft girl's dream, right? Like there's no complaints there. We all love our craft supplies, but I was doing a little bit of reorganizing. And when I had moved a couple of the Ikea shelves that I had in here out, there was puddles of liquid on the floor. My first thought is that it was the glue because these things are not held they're not it's not like actual what actually inside of the this part um not that part like the sides is cardboard and they use a lot of glue to hold these things together and it's winter time I brought a little electric heater in here and I got it nice and toasty in here and I thought man I've heated got it so warm in here that it's heated up the glue and it's melted everywhere the bottom of some of these shelves have started to warp I, I was like so furious because I thought oh my gosh all of this stuff is ruined luckily the floors weren't ruined and there was no problems there but that's what I thought it was because I couldn't I was like what else has happened well a couple of days later after I decided I was never buying Ikea, Ikea furniture again which I will because it wasn't actually the furniture's fault um, I remembered actually my son reminded me that a few days prior to me reorganizing the space he had knocked over his humidifier in his room and that thing holds a couple of gallons of water. He had knocked it over. It was running down our hallway. It was all in here, which I didn't know it was in here. That was the problem. It must have come through the hallway or something and had soaked the floor. So that's actually what caused the mess. And that's why the room is uh, laid out the way that it is right now. I, I like it because I have a bigger workspace. I have more room here to do my crafting. But the hard part is, is that there's like these little tiny baby pathways. Actually, to even get my chair out of this room, I have to move this desk over. So this space, it causes me a lot of frustration and a craft room shouldn't do that. A craft room should bring you joy and happiness and the space just hasn't done that in a long time. So I'm gonna be changing it all. I'm actually gonna be completely moving out of here, which I'm excited for, but for now, I'm still using this space. And I wanna take you on a little tour and show you the updated layout it works, but it's not my favorite, but that's okay. But yeah, I just want to show you the updated layout. But first, this room's a mess, so let's get to cleaning. The first thing I need to do is get my desk cleaned up and organized. You know how messy our desks can get and how quickly they get messy. Like candles on there, I've got things laid out. I've got different projects laid out. I actually need to figure out some, like, here's, here's my dilemma. I really want to get this space organized better, but I know that I'm moving everything out of here. So there's a part of me that's like, there's no point to get it like super organized because once I get to the new space, I need to organize it. So right now, like I said, it feels chaotic in here to me. It might not to you guys. You guys might look at this and be like, what? It's super organized. I love it. Like I totally understand, but actually working in here is a totally different thing than just looking at it from a video so I need to figure out a way to organize my projects like the current ones that I'm working on and a way to put like scrap paper up but it's easy to access so it's not like hidden so I forget about it and then I don't use it so just like little things like that need to be cleaned up and I also I love to decorate you guys like decorating my I have this tiered tray on my kitchen table that I decorate I have um, just decorating in general whatever right so I have all of these things stored in this room so there's different totes with 
all my Ray Dunn stuff or little things that I find at Hobby Lobby and TJ Maxx or whatever that I'm decorating with and it just feels I'm not claustrophobic but I feel claustrophobic in this room I feel like it's just closing in on me and I'm having less and less space so um, I know some of you guys are watching this and you're like man I'd love to have a room like that I don't know why she's complaining I've been in this room now for almost five years and it has stopped working for me for a couple of years now so it's time to move out of it and I understand that feeling because I've been in that space where I've watched these kind of videos and I'm like man I'd love to have that room I don't know why you know it's not good enough for them like don't think that that's not what this is about I need a bigger space if I'm going to hit my goals reach my goals and accomplish some of the things that I want to do I need to be able to have the space to grow and to do that and to craft and create and have things organized and the inspiration is needed like I don't like I said I don't feel inspired to come into this room so I've been struggling to make videos for you guys because I don't want to come in here and film because it's such again I feel claustrophobic I've, I'm constantly knocking things over I almost broke my ring light because it's so small in here so it's kind of a pain but that's okay like I said, we're going to be changing everything up and I literally cannot wait. Like there's just so much excitement built up into me and I cannot wait to share that with you guys. Um, but we're almost done with the cleaning and as soon as we get this finished up, I will take you on a little tour and I'm going to show you all the drawers and all the um, different little things that I have inside of here for right now and hopefully give you a little bit of inspiration for your craft space that you have. All right, here's the space from the hallway. When we first walk in, the first thing that you see is the big old desk here that I have. So we come over here. My um, house is creaky and doors are squeaky, so that's just how I live. <laughs> All right, we have this little tiny pathway right through here. That's what I'm talking about. Everything is like super, super tight. Um, when we first come down this little pathway, we have fun trash can. I put all of my Happy Planner stickers and a few accessories inside of this cart. I honestly hate it. I feel like I can't get to my sticker books very well. It doesn't encourage me to plan, but for now, because I have a ton of other things that need to be stored, this is the best space for it. I will, though, have storage for my sticker books. So as we come around here, this, most of the furniture in here is from Ikea. On the side here, we have my Cricut mats. These three here and the three magazine holders over there all store different types of patterned paper. Like there's, um, this one's Happy Planner stuff. This one's Christmas. This one, oh wait, this one's Christmas. What's this one? Oh, that one's Halloween. That one's Christmas. There's like florals in this one, the center one is neutrals, and then that far one is ones that are from like Heidi Swap and Ellie Edwards and kind of more of my special papers that I like a lot. This little thing here has baggies because I use baggies a lot. I got my cleaning stuff back here, wipe things off. This is going to be my fitness journal for 2022. I can't wait to show you guys that. This little book here, or album I guess, holds a bunch of journals and stuff. This one here is from Allie Edwards. This one and all the notebooks in it are from Heidi Swap. And then on over from there, we have my stamps. So this is where I keep all of my stamps for right now. Cute little Halloween things that I had made last year for Halloween. And then this is my December daily album from 2021. Again, pattern papers. This box has a few Happy Planner accessories in it. This one's empty. This is just a little container, empty container that I have for storage. This is a binder with some personal items in it. This one has uh, twine on top and inside of that one as well as down there. And then off to the side, I have some uh, wood veneer for my Cricut. I've got some specialty papers, um, glitter papers, stuff like that there. This one has all of my embellishments my number embellishments these two are empty this little container inside of this container sorry that was awful but this little container here has sewing stuff in it and then i have a few um little notepads back there sewing stuff down here we have planners 
planers, planers, planers. And then these bottom little cubes. This one has, um, this is where I keep some extra filming equipment, some extra boxes, the glass protector for my phone. I also have a can of selfie and this is where the ink and uh, photo paper is stored. This one has vinyl. This one has random craft supplies. And then this one here has my paints. Oh, it's kind of heavy. Uh, my duster, some wood glue, just spray paint. There's tons of different things inside of there. And then over here on this side, this is my Bible study cart. So I have it already set up. I have a video showing you this entire cart and I will link it down below in the description box. Okay, so that is that back wall. And then from there we have my desk. So this little organizer, I got it at Hobby Lobby. It holds all the things and some. Some of these are empty. But I really do like this little organizer. It holds a lot of stuff. And then um, in that little thing there on the side, that has extra, my budget planner. Well, let's walk over there really quickly. It's got my budget planner, some planning sheets, a book, my cover for my planner. I have the current sticker books that I'm using right here my son's Cub Scout journal, and then I just have like recipes, his school pictures, things like that stored in there. Keyboard for my iPad, my son's Chromebook, iPad stays up here, planner stays up here. And then on the sides of this is some additional storage. So inside of this one, as you guys seen earlier, is where I keep all of my dashboards for, or dividers, I guess, for my Happy Planner. And then down here has uh, paper and some planner covers for my happy planner. So let's put that back down here. Um, is that called batting? Is that what that's called? <laughs> and I have a couple of curtains there. Over here we have um, old stethoscope, some shipping stuff, extra paper, just kind of a plethora of random things. These ones hold different things inside of those. This thing here holds personal items. This one's got some extra happy planner paper in it, extra folders when I used to be in nursing school. And then all of my extra um, dividers and things from nursing school. So all of that is inside of there and that's on this side. And then underneath of my desk, we have some Alex drawers. These come in handy being down here because when I'm sitting here crafting, I just wrecked that, sorry. When I'm sitting here crafting, I have access to a lot of the things that I need. Um, a lot of the things are also over there, they're inside of that. So I do have to get up a lot, but that's okay. Not a big deal. So let's go ahead and pull this out some. And I'll show you guys what's inside of here. Up here I have my brads in this little container. This first drawer has some different kits inside of here. So some memory keeping and scrapbooking kits up here. We've got some numbers, some stickers, ribbon, ribbon and there's some acrylic words in here. Just kinds of fun different little crafty things that I don't know where to put yet. So they live in that drawer. The next drawer is where I keep all of my tools. So I've got my Crocodile, my five-in-one from We Are Memory Keepers. I have this Fusion tool, my Cricut roller, my Xyron paper cutter, and then red line tape and some like throwing a piece of dots and squares and circles and stuff. And then my six hole punch stays there. The next drawer, this is where I have felt extra little scraps of like specialty paper, so vellum, acetate, things like that just kind of stay in there. Um, this one has felt, this one also has felt inside of it. And then these are specialty papers. So I have them all, um, there's acetate, there's sticker sheets inside of here, there's vellum, there's um, stencils up here, 
I've got just random cardstock sheets. These are more of the specialty papers. There's some um, cork board. That's where that stuff stays. This one is all about inking. So I have Allie Edwards inks. I have my Distressed Oxide archival ink, some stamping blocks, uh, date stamp. Baby wipes are a must in the craft room. Um, texture paste. The next one has oh, extra pins and Tombow pins. And then this bottom one stores extra school supplies for my son, which we're getting pretty low on. I used to keep them all here. So crayons, pencils, all that stuff. So if they run out, I could quickly grab something. But as you can see, we're getting a little low. Um, extra markers that are his. He kind of pulls from here too to craft with, but scrap papers, foam, and then this is um, some vinyl, just the like 12 by 12 sheets and some scrap vinyl that I don't know where to put, so I just stick it down here. And that, my friends, is that little drawer, so let's push it back. We'll move the chair in, and I'll show you what's on the other side. So we come around here. This top one is empty, nothing in there. It's amazing when in a craft room you have empty containers, right? Like that's like a, wow, <laughs> never hardly happens. Inside of here I have my acrylic paints and some stencils are stored in there. I'm not gonna pull it all the way out. And then this is where all of my printer and photo paper lives. So we've got printer paper there. Um, this one has like my photo paper, sticker paper, um, laminating sheets, and then this one is also printer paper. Down here, uh, this is my son's bin. I think this one might be too. No, I cleaned this one out. There's one little lonesome binder in there. He used to have a couple of bins and he's down to one, which is really good, right? I just need to get there myself. <laughs> So that's that. This stuff set in here on the desk is some new stuff that I got for scrapbooking that I haven't put away yet. And then from over there, let's go take a look at this table. So my um, MacBook usually sets up here and this is how I charge it. Very, very nice to look at, isn't it? Words on the floor. Okay, so up here, these are just some of my son's books. Cricut, Canon selfie, and then printer. This is basically like my printing and cutting station. Then I have some lights. That's for that special project that I talked about. So those are there. These are my Alex stores up here. Um, office supplies, basically. This one has um, colored pencils, extra supplies. I've got some yarn back here, some labels, thumbtacks, hole punch binder clips, scissors. This one is where I keep my planer punch and my little punches that I um, can punch out circles and different things, confetti. I also keep my extra Tombow runners inside of here. And then extra things for my watch are inside of there as well. The next one has camera gear. So that's all in there. Some of it's out with me right now. And then this one is my old memory keeping stuff. I used to memory keep inside of a happy planner and I have since then stopped doing that. So that's those drawers. And then last but certainly not least, we have this disastrous space over here. So I had originally built this closet desk because I wanted a space to stand up and craft, but I can't film it over here like I thought I was gonna be able to. Like I had installed some pipe up here in this foam clip so it would angle down and there's just not enough lighting. I um, usually end up bringing my ring light in over here and then the entire time I'm having a heat stroke because it's like all that heat just gets trapped over here, you're sweating. Um, so I usually don't film over there, but down here, um, this one just has storage. This is all of my December daily stuff. So it's all stored there. I have some little kits from Heidi Swap right here. Random embellishments. This one has some extra 
stencils, um, and then little packs of embellishments there. Washi tape, that's my son's books, my son's books, and this is where I store all of his paperwork from school. It all goes in here, and then at the end of the year, I go through it all, and whatever can fit in his one folder from school is all I keep. I don't keep all of this, I used to, but I don't anymore. This is a hodgepodge of storage. Up here, I this is like my quarantine tote. There's things inside of here, so I actually have been quarantined because I've been sick. But up here are some things that I need to give to family. I've got some old coats of mine and my sons and stuff. And then I have some other things to go to people. And then things that if I don't use it within a certain amount of time, I get rid of it, right? So it stays in quarantine. If I don't pull it out because I need it, I get rid of it. And I've been kind of decluttering some. I have some sweatshirts here so I can make them make some sweatshirts random things these are all of my candles so Bath and Body Works had their sale and of course I had to get some candles so candles and then that bottom one is a lot of my Ray Dunn mugs that don't fit in my cabinet so I stuck those in there and then I just swap them out with the ones that's in my kitchen cabinet up here we have some balloons and things for my son's birthday party. Happy Planner sent me this and this. I have these two Ray Dunn things that have washi tape inside of them. I also have some washi up there. I don't reach towards washi, washi tape very often, but it's there. This is stuff for work. So, almost done. Um, I have badge clips and, and things inside of here. So, oh, I couldn't even, didn't even see it. So those are there just random decor stuck everywhere um this side this is my uh unipod square pod tripod i don't know this is what i film with when i'm at the desk when i'm uh setting their filming i set this up over there if you guys want to see my filming setup let me know and i will show you extra candles i stopped using these right around christmas time uh, so I could have Christmas candles, so we can start using those again. Books, random note sheets, extra iPad case. Don't really like that one. Um, I used to use this a lot in here. It's a, a burner from Etsy, but I don't use it anymore. And then up here on this shelf, it's really just storage. And then I have like my sewing machine up there, my laminators behind that. And then on up, we also have more storage. These this one there's two of those white containers there and both of those are empty this one has my original happy planner sticker books in it and then i have my extra books over there so that is the closet desk okay friends that's an updated craft room tour just general update on what's going on i haven't forgot i noticed that some of you guys have asked questions like hey what's going on how's the How's the update going? Can you show us like what's going on and stuff? And I do apologize because it has been a couple of months since I've updated you, but um, that's because I, I didn't know what I wanted to do. I wasn't sure. And now that I have direction, I can continue to update you guys and show you what's going on. The major, the major thing, thing? Yeah, we'll go with thing. The major thing that will be my craft room has been ordered. Um, should be here within the next couple of weeks, which is super exciting. So I can't wait for that. I will update you guys when it gets here and I'll show you um, what my plans are and what I have going on. So make sure you're subscribed. Like I said, there is a playlist all about this journey that we're going on. So make sure you guys are checking out that playlist so you can see the entire process and I will see you in the next video. Hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Seriously, have an incredible day, my friend, and I will see you in the next video.